Good evening. How are you? I am going to be making a video about a disease. A very contagious disease. A disease you are probably dealing with. And this disease, this disease is not easy to deal with. Why would I be here if it was? This disease. I'd call bread. So, to start, I would like to introduce myself, as you probably have never known me and don't recognize me at all. My name is Mr. Professor Hufflepuffy. Let's say that together. My name is Mr. Professor, have a lump of goofy. And yes, I haven't shaved in two years. Better not make fun of me. Only people of my idea can talk like this, walk like this, and dress like this. See? Ooh, fuzzy. I got my bow tie from the beloved Hello Kitty. I'm sure she misses it, but who cares about her? She was unsophisticated, always wearing those silly overalls. Who got those anymore? My nose is itchy. Anyway, let's get to it. So, the first part of this video is about how you are about to eat bread. And now, I know it's hard, I know. I've been addicted to bread myself in the past. And look how far I've come. If you want to be as great as me, you have to let go of bread. I will tell you some pros and cons to eating bread now. Some cons to eating bread and reasons why you shouldn't are because it ruins your vision. I would not have to be wearing this eyeglass if it didn't. Can you see this? Probably can't. The ingredients on it is bleached flour. Anything bleached must be too crazy for your body. That's why Michael Jackson died so quick. He bleached his skin. His body did not handle that well. Duh. Plus, anything bleached will kill you. Will kill you. It will. I'm sure that even in 3035, Michael Jackson would still be alive, singing country songs, rap songs, Michael Jackson songs, rock songs, pop songs, R&B songs, and jizzy jazzy songs. But since he bleached himself, that is not an option for him. Alternatives to eating bread could be tomato, this lovely organic tomato, mango, this green quality mango, it's not so ripe at the moment but when it is ripe it will be quite delightful. And as you can tell, I've already eaten this tangerine, that's another substitute for bread. It's lovely, it's just lovely, so much more flavorful than that really trashy wheat, compressed bleached flour wheat that is filled with calories and emotional distress, etc. Okay, well, if you eat tangerines like me, you will become like me. Hats off to that. Also, oh dear, can't find my water. Do you have water? Let me get it from you. Thank you. Pure drinking water. I'm glad you have this, and I'm glad you've drank in so much. Really, I don't know if I can drink that much in one sitting. But I can drink it in a standing. <laughs> standing. That's not the time or place for that. So some pros of eating bread are you will raise some money for corporations. You will make farmers, maybe perhaps negative 2.7% percent 
more rich than they are already because really if you take it down to business none of them farmers get paid as much as you expect them to and um yes also another con to eating bread is that you will burn your hand in the process of time because surely no one who eats bread comes out without a burnt hand. That's why I have this mitt for the days when my hand is too sensitive. Because yes, in the past, I was a bread eater. I was. But no, 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 not anymore. Now, to share with you my wisdom, I'd have to talk for hours and hours and hours. But I'm sure you have better things to do with your life. So, I hope that with this video, you can come to a realization that bread is not the choice you want to make at this moment. Perhaps when you weigh zero pounds, you'd like to eat some bread so you can stay alive. Now, I assure you, when you weigh zero pounds, you're either in space or you're dead. Very, very dead. Because even cops don't weigh zero pounds. I would like to show you some consequences. If you eat this bread, Oh, delicious bread that will be gone then your family cannot eat any bread after you eat the bread you will want to go further you will eat vomit donuts oh dear how what what a troubled decision does this look good to you no it doesn't I'm sure you are thinking mm, I want some of that but if you want to get some, go to Hapa Cupcakes. Donuts are not the choice. And after you eat the donuts, you'll just go crazier and crazier. Then your veganism will become cannibalism. Eating your own self, eating your brother's self, eating your sister's self, eating your best friend's self, eating... Hello Kitty How do you think I got this bow tie? Anyway. Like I said, mangoes are a good substitution for curing your hunger. Simple, just cut it and eat it. With bread, you may have to top it. You may have to warm it up. Not as easy. Plus, oh, oh dear, oh dear. Before I opened this bread, it came in a package with this thing, a lock. Why do you think they have a lock on a bag of bread? Because they don't want you to open it. They make it difficult so that you don't open it. But some of you, some of you are so, so desperate for these disgusting, trashy calories. I think you'd do anything to open the bag. I can't even open it now, and I just closed it myself. I can't open it. There's no way it's not coming out because I've moved on from that. I do not have the willpower to bring myself down and dig the hole of which I cannot climb out of. So that's all for now. As you can tell, the music has stopped, which makes it seem like I am done. But am I done? Absolutely, I just said I was. Bye. Hi! So, what you just watched, I'm really hoping it can help you, Lily, because there are much better things to eat than bread. Much better things! I just ate a mango, and it tasted delicious. And it's like... It's like... 11 at night ish and I ate a mango that's unacceptable but it's better than bread at least I'm eating the fruit of a tree not like the weeds of grass and ground okay mashed up and blended with bleached flour and probably like sugar and growth. Okay?
there's so much better. Don't stoop to this level. If you want something to chew on, if you want something crunchy, something that isn't as mushy and delicious as grapes, then go for an apple or a celery stick or a carrot stick. There's so many things out there. Or just have a smoothie that with cherries that you don't blend to a puree. Like, there's so many options. And yeah, Kenji will always be here to help you. And I will be there too. Just have to give me a call because I won't be there physically. But yeah, there's... You're better than that. You are way better than that. But if you did eat bread, then that's fine too. Because you can... Move it. Move, move it. I don't know the song. Help me out, man. She like to move it, move it. She like to move it, move it. She like to move it. She like to move it, move it. You see? You could just dance it off, girl. Find my dancing video and dance with me. It's there for a reason. That was a really good workout. I'm telling you. Okay, so please, please, please take what I'm saying to heart and understand that I say this with love and I'm grateful for you always. I'm just here to help. I love you. Bye.